Hey guys, Mike of the Woods here. Hopefully by now you know the drill. I look for ways to combine 3D printing with the outdoors, usually in the form of custom tools and equipment. I try to make stuff that has no moving parts because I want to make stuff for you guys that's, you know, actually reliable and usable in real world use cases. And today's project, a simple solar still using two Powerade bottles. With this, you should be able to turn even the most nastiest, disgusting water, even salt water, into drinking water. And all it needs is two Powerade bottles and one of these little 3D printed dongles I made. So subscribe if you haven't already. Well, let's take a look. So the way a solar still works is simple. Water in the dirty water chamber heats up, evaporates, rises into the cooling chamber, condenses back into water, and is trapped in the upper chamber, preventing it from remixing with the dirty water. As a result, this recondensed water is safe for consumption as all the nasty stuff stays in the bottom section. Assuming, of course, you're careful when separating the two sections as to not contaminate the clean water with the dirty stuff. My design is based off an existing one I found on Thingiverse, but unlike my simpler design, theirs requires tubing and a completely separate third container for collecting the recondensed water. I wanted to make something far simpler with as few moving parts and required tools as possible for reliability and utility. And what I came up with was this, a simple connector that connects two Powerade bottles and end with a tube on one side that's sticks up into the upper bottle. And some efficiency is lost since the water vapor has to make it all the way up the tube into the upper bottle before it condenses, but the simplicity of the design thankfully makes up for that, and solar distillation is not exactly a fast process to begin with. Once the water vapor recondenses in the upper bottle, the center tube stops it from draining back down into the dirty water chamber. The tube is shorter than the bottle, so that it'll fit on most 3D printers, including mine. The dongle is only 18 centimeters in total height, 15 of which is the tube inside of the bottle. So unfortunately, you'll have to empty the bottle before the condensed water rises above this point. You'll want the bottom dirty water bottle to be blacked out as much as possible, either with paint or a Sharpie or black duct tape, so it absorbs as much of the sun's heat as possible to heat the water and speed up evaporation. A potential flaw is that if water collects on the divot on the upper bottle and drips too close to the center, it'll just fall right back down the center tube into the bottom bottle. Thankfully, the ridge of protrusions is where the water seems to drip from, just barely staying on the outer side of the tube. And I guess that's something I'll fix in a future revision. For now though, if it's a concern, I can always set it at an angle to bypass this potential problem entirely. It's also really important that a non-toxic plastic is used for the mount, like PLA or PETG, so that nasty chemicals don't leach into the water from exposure to the sun. It should also be printed in a light color so that it doesn't heat up from the sun and prevent the water in the upper bottle from recondensing, which is why I made my prototype in a bright yellow color. And like any solar still, it's not so good in cold weather when there's not enough heat from the sun to cause any meaningful amount of evaporation. So that begs the question, what exactly are the use cases for this thing? Sadly, whichever situation it's used for, solar distillation is a very lengthy process. You likely won't manage to get the top bottle filled in one day, even on a hot, bright, sunny day. And this is why solar distillation isn't frequently used on light and fast trips. The reason I made my dongle for Powerade bottles is that that's what I use when I'm a backpacking or skate packing. So I've already got the bottles as part of my kit, and the addition of this solar dongle, it only weighs 44 grams, so it doesn't take up much weight. For me, this thing would only be a tertiary backup at best, as my standard three-tier plan for water filtration is my water filter as my primary, boiling as plan B, and aqua tabs as plan C. However, for things like a bug out bag, or for trips where boiling isn't an option, say there's a complete fire bin, or the water is contaminated with something that can't be removed through standard means, like chemicals, the solar still would be an all right stand in. Where it does shine is for any trips involving salt water. Right away, your traditional methods of treating water are out. Solar distillation is one of the only readily available portable ways to get clean drinking water from salt water. So, while well, obviously solar distillation isn't an effective means for water treatment in most situations, it stands above the rest when dealing with salt water and can be a plan D if other, more faster methods fail. If anything, this served as a good experiment to see how a simple, reliable device can be made with 3D printing, and I'll definitely be keeping one of these around in my gear closet for consideration on trips at least. If for whatever reason you're interested in buying one, or the 3D model itself for printing one yourself, I'll leave links in the description, so check those out if you're interested. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in having one made for any other type of bottle. And if you're new to the channel, I combine fun, futuristic technology with traditional outdoors experiences. Check out my other videos and consider subscribing if that's your thing. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you next week.